Hey all, here are OS Reviews. So One More is one of the more recent success stories in the audio space. They really commercialized the triple and quad driver setup on in-ear earbuds, making them more well-known to the mainstream. Recently, they've released more wireless-style earbuds, just because a lot of phones these days no longer have a standard headphone port, such as the triple driver Bluetooth in-ears, which we saw just last month. And we were actually pretty impressed because the audio quality is really similar to their wired pair, but of course now it's in a wireless collarbone style form factor. Now this actually shares a very similar design language, but the pair today we're checking out is the Spearhead VR Bluetooth. So these are wireless Bluetooth earbuds designed for gaming. Uh, these technically have a dual driver setup that uses a graphene and titanium driver. The battery life is rated at six hours, and in terms of what makes it special, one more claims what's called 3D real-time audio, so that should be more immersive sound when you're gaming. It also has customizable LED lighting which is in line with a lot of gaming peripherals like mice and computers that can be customized uh, and it also features environmental noise cancellation for the mic which is actually the same feature we saw on the other pair uh, it means that the microphone should have a higher quality when you're communicating with people when you're gaming for instance and it also features very fast charging 10 minutes of charging will give you up to three hours of audio playback packaging is very clean as always it has more red accents this time to really drive home the gaming centric theme now, one more has also made gaming headphones in the past called the Spearhead. They're on your style, so they're much larger. This is a, a very portable version of that. And uh, otherwise, it retails for $99 bucks right now, so $100. So it's a little bit cheaper than the triple driver Bluetooth that we saw. This is $150, so $50 more. Presentation, very nicely put together as always. And they have kind of labels for how they designed this thing uh, from the conception stage. And we have just the earbuds themselves on top with the One More logo in the plastic. We've got a soft carrying pouch which has the One More logo to it. You can put the earbuds in when traveling. We also have a micro USB cable for charging. So I do wish that they would upgrade to USB type C soon as well. But uh, that aside, we also have a warranty card, some spare silicon tips, a manual that's specific to the features of the Bluetooth Spearhead VR, as well as some uh, kind of quick stickers and advertisements for their other models, including the full on your style Spearhead, which looks like this. All right, so taking a closer look at the design of these first, uh, again, very similar style to the tri regular triple drivers with this neckband or collarbone that hides all of the battery as well as the modules inside for the Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, the actual keys and controls are on the inside, so facing towards your neck, just like on the triple driver Bluetooth that we have here. So the placement is a little bit different. The keys themselves, instead of being one piece for the volume rocker, is now dedicated, which is a bit more tactile and easier to press. So I do like that improvement there. And there's also a key that you can tap on to turn it on, and you can press on it for a few seconds longer to enter the pairing mode. This is also the placement for the microphone, which is very close to your mouth, as you can see there since this is resting on your neck, basically, which uh, kind of improves on the audio quality with the microphone. Um, otherwise, the tips themselves are still not magnetic, so they can't actually st stick together, nor can they retract back into the collarbone itself. So we do have a bit of dangling wires, which is fine, but it's not the most elegant thing in the world. Um, but something to keep in mind. There's a one more logo on the outside here, and this part is made out of a chrome plastic material. Overall construction feels quite good. Again, pretty similar to the triple driver Bluetooth. Uh, the ear tips themselves are also made out of plastic now compared to the aluminum of the triple drivers, so that is one area where the construction quality I feel like is slightly uh, degraded, but the improvement is it's lighter now, so you can wear them more comfortably for longer periods of gaming, for instance. Uh, both of these are covered up by rubber, so they are going to be splash-proof, but not fully waterproof. And of course, using red as an accent is not completely new. I would say it reminds me a bit of the Meizu EP52 that we also reviewed, another collarbone style pair of earbuds that we saw last year, also sharing the design and the color scheme. Uh, but overall, it's pretty attractive looking. Now, dimming the lights and connecting it to a device, you can see the first trick, which is the aforementioned backlight LEDs. It is pretty cool, adds a unique touch that is very gaming-centric. With that being said, when you are wearing these, you don't necessarily actually see them, so it's mostly just for other people around you. 
When it comes to comfort and fit, overall I do like these quite a bit. It provides a nice fit into my ears, stay put, and offers a pretty nice natural noise isolation. And they are pretty comfortable for listening even for hours and hours, which is definitely great. And again, they are very lightweight, uh, so you can wear them longer without noticing any stress or strain. Now when it comes to the audio quality per se, I'm starting to notice a few holes, however. Uh, in the sense that comparing these with the one more triple driver uh, Bluetooth, they aren't as good. Uh, of course these are $50 cheaper, but there is kind of a difference. I'll talk about kind of the noise first. So there is a bit more static or distortion in the background. So when the volume is low or if you're pausing the music, you can hear a bit more of a hiss going on. So it's not quite as true kind of audiophile grade in that sense. Otherwise, mids and highs sound good, and there is also a nice amount of bass, uh, pretty surprising in fact. So if you're listening to EDM tracks, bass boosted with drum beats, it really does pack a punch for small in-ear style earbuds, which is a great uh, attribute to have. But compared to, again, the, the triple driver Bluetooth, which I've probably been spoiled by at this point, I don't find them to be quite as clear. Uh, the bass and the mids and highs sound a little bit more muddy, a bit more mixed together compared to on the triple drivers where they are more distinct, you can hear more details within the sound. Otherwise, the latency is indeed very good. I would say it's about par on par with the triple drivers again. So when you're playing and pausing the track or if you're gaming, the video and the audio are synced together pretty well. And battery life was also pretty consistent in my testing. I indeed got about six hours of use out of these before I needed to recharge them. And the 10 minute top up speed is definitely a great feature that I wish more earbuds would have. Super valuable because, again, if you're a gamer, you don't really want to wait uh, in between too long before you start a new session uh, if you need to charge them up. Just a very quick top-up like this providing three hours is a great, great feature that I'm glad they included on board. So that's pretty much it as far as our hands-on review of the One More Spearhead VR Bluetooth uh, earbuds. Um, at the end of the day, I would say sound quality as far as Bluetooth earbuds go are still going to be excellent, but you have to think of these more as gaming-centric earbuds, meant more for, again, casual music listening, primarily for gaming and communication, rather than for specific high-quality music listening. One last thing I want to keep in mind is uh, regarding the stems of these earbuds. Now, there's more support on the previous version as well, with the triple driver having a larger stem, it makes it easier to pull out and into your ears compared to these where you're basically just pulling on the wire directly, which uh, isn't made out of the thickest material. So again, there's just some small minor details and uh, it's mostly kind of the aesthetic and the hardware design over kind of the functionality, which is still about the same on these, except you get more clarity. Overall, the gaming earbud market is still very new and it's actually a pretty original idea because the majority of gaming products are either headphones and they're really bulky uh, and thus just difficult to take with you when on the road. So I really like the idea that One More had in going after this direction. I think it's very smart because a ton of mobile gaming is happening and this has, has an excellent microphone, has excellent comfort, and that really great battery top-up speed. Uh, the only thing is because they have had other models which are so outstanding in terms of audio quality, high-res audio performance, that uh, in comparison I would say it pales a little bit in terms of that sound quality. So it's all a matter of perspective, and if you do want that kind of aesthetic, that design, and just having kind of a more gaming-centric vibe, I would say this is definitely worth a closer look at. But if you want the absolute best audio quality, then something like this, which is just $50 more, might be the more practical buy. So you can check out more details about both in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That has been the one more Spearhead VR wireless Bluetooth collarbone style in your headphones.